gotta keep reading Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good book Cause this book's gonna be a good, good book to read Uh, hello, Olivia. Hi, Dad. Oh, you are so looking forward to daydreaming this story, aren't you? Because we're going to centipede our way to a great daydream. Now, first of all, we're going to zoom in close, and the top left, you'll notice your story's going to begin with, on a hot summer day, I grabbed the underwater breathing pills and dove into the ocean. And Olivia, these breathing pills will let you breathe underwater and talk to any animal that you could see. So there you are, ready to go into the ocean, and... Um, in that first column of boxes, could you go ahead and start just quickly daydreaming, putting down some things that you could see if you were swimming underwater. I'm going to come around to this side, because I know you're right-handed. And what did you just write down? Tell me as you're writing. Barney and a bikini. Um, you, you said Barney in a bikini. Thank you so much. Um, let's imagine you could see something else underwater. Come on, list about three or four things. Start writing fast. I'll read this one out loud. A sea turtle. Not bad, Olivia. Keep going. You don't see Barney in a bikini. You don't see a sea turtle. You see... What's next? A blue ringed octopus. Okay, now you could fill out all five. I don't want you to. Circle your favorite right now which one of those and draw a line from every box from your circle to every box in the next column just like that all right daydream with me it's a choose your own adventure you see a blue ring octopus underwater now you don't have a story unless you have a problem come up with a right over here nice there we go list two or three problems that could happen next you're underwater you can breathe underwater you can talk underwater and you see a blue ringed octopus and then it loses it lost its babies that is definitely a problem what's another problem um it s a it's a mutant okay um hey put this one down it's having nightmares because it saw Barney in a bikini. That would be a problem. <laughs> ah! But you know what? Let's make this a kind of serious story. Can you, which one of those three would you like? It's a mutant, all right. Draw lines from that box to every box in the next column. Because they are the size of a golf ball. What's the size of a golf ball? Blue ring octopus. Um, are they friendly or are they poisonous? Poisonous. So it's a golf ball sized, in real life it's a golf ball sized octopus? Mm -hmm. Where do you find them? Uh, in Australia. So if it's a mutant, how big is it going to be in your story? Twice the size of you. Twi okay, so you're about, you're underwater and you see a mutant octopus. No wait, make it the size of Barney and Bikini. You had to go there, didn't you? <laughs> All right. Um, draw lines. You've got your lines drawn to every box in the next column. And all you do is list two or three, and I'm going to go really quickly here because we're not even going to write it down. You list a problem, 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 problem. You circle your favorite. Oh, I was hoping I could make an eat. Like you, you can do this later. We're on video right now. Circle your favorite, and you end up daydreaming a story that goes problem or solve. And Olivia, now you're going to get your chance to take your sheet, your, your daydream sheet, and turn it into a story. Are you ready for that? Yep. All right. <laughs> 